This is the Adversarial Wars CTF. How many yes. years does this contest make? This is like uh, the third year at DEFCON. So we are uh, Adversary Village. The, we organize like uh, talks, workshops and CTF. And this is our third year. So this year we kind of concentrating on the CTF only, not talks like this is more like uh, Adversary Wars. We have created uh, a fictional city in the cloud. Let's say uh, there are many, many threat tactics, right? For example, uh, I'm assuming that we have B-roll of it, but the fictional city that Gowry took pictures of earlier, uh -huh. that is all the fictional city in which this entire CTF yes, occurs yes, in. Yes. So right now, we know that in cyber warfare, certain threat tactics are there coming from certain countries, like for example, Cozy Bear, right? Lazy, I mean, Lazy Panda, Cozy Bear, all those kind of stuff, right? So again, so we have created a fictional threat tactic using that elephant. There is a big, big story behind that elephant that is coming from South India. Uh, the land mafia and the people complained against it. And the government decided to deport that elephant to like, you know, 400, 500 kilometers far away from its natural habitat. So we kind of decided to like, you know, use that as a fictionary threat tractor. And our pretext here is that threat tractor compromised the entire city. And all these guys are trying to figure out what are the activities performed by that threat tractor or cyber adversary and trying to emulate these activities. For example, let's say we have an apartment here, we have hospital here. So we'll be opening all these challenges in the CTF and uh, you know they get to attack and they figure out the flags. So that's so, the whole purpose here. here. So let me, I'm gonna echo this back, make sure I under, understand it. You're saying the, there's the, the giant elephant is gonna simulate kind of like the attack on the- Yeah, that is a fictional threat actor. And it's going to be, the threat actor is going after the hospital, is going yes, after buildings. Yes, yeah, exactly. And yeah. players are defending against the attack? No, no, they are not defending. The damage has already done. Okay. The threat actor successfully compromised the entire city, but the defenders here, we don't have an idea what, what was performed by the threat actor. So now we are trying to emulate the threat actions performed by that uh, you know adversary there. So okay. that is the point. So there, so players then are, are simulating the attack? Yeah, simulating the attacks, exactly. They are kind of a red team simulation, offensive, offensive simulation. They are, they are doing that activity right now. And what makes this CTF different from other CTF? Because mostly uh, we have different levels, so different types of CTF, right? Jeopardy CTF, they are like king of the hill, all these types. Here, we have created a threat uh, you know, uh, profile for the adversary. Let's say one country or organization got hit by a cyber adversary, the very first thing they would do is trying to collect the TTPs used by that attacker. What are the techniques used by them? What are the two tools used by them? How far they went into our country? How far they went into our organization? So we find it using an offensive way. We trying to post like that, like that attacker and we trying to find the loopholes in the system. Then we kind of emulate these activities. So next time the attacker hits us, we'll be in a better position to defend it. So, so also, yep. the attack happened, you're using atta attackers are then simulating the yes. same attack back same to understand attack. Yes. what happened. Yes. And uh, the threat actor profile is half cooked. We are not giving away what are the actual TTPs used by these threat actor. I mean, the, the IRICOM, I mean, Rice Tusker uh, threat actor. The players need to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, that's the point. In the end, they also need to create a threat in the report. Like, you know, this is how we emulated the activities of the so-and-so threat tactics. Well, that's interesting. So not only do they have to do go ahead and do all the hacks, but at the yeah. same time, they then have to write a report and submit yeah. the report. Not like a formal report, but like a threat tactic. For example, a threat tactic coming out of Russia, it has a certain, like, you know, tools and techniques. Like that, we'll ask the players to create a threat tactic profile based on the uh, issue they have identified. Okay. So that's more like a pure adversary emulation CTF. That's the idea here. Okay. And about the Lego City, do you like the Lego City there? Yeah, it's really cool being able to have a like, set up and whatnot. That's more like uh, for the management, professionals and uh, you know other executives. Because when you, even if I am stepping into that CTF area, I have no clue what is happening in there. Because I, what I'm seeing is a bunch of folks are sitting with laptops and uh, something is happening in there. Mostly the players and organizers will do, will know what is happening in the CTF. So for example, policy makers are coming here, we could just easily display them, like, you know, this is how a cyber adversary would hit a, hit a country, I mean, country or city, and this is how they are going to do damage. So there's a kind of a visual symbol, visual representation, and also there is for the kids. If kids are dropping by, we have a couple of additional Lego sets, we could give it to them and we could ask them to play with the Lego, I mean, whatever they want. Yeah, that's awesome. That's the, yeah, that's the part. Excellent, thank you so much for running it. Thanks for, thanks for sharing, thank you for watching, and yeah, hack off.